All right, hey everyone. So this is for uh, the second grade class that is doing uh, Rosie Revere Engineer. And so this is for lesson four, so the beginning, middle, and end. And so at the end, I guess I'll ask a couple questions. And then uh, if you're by yourself, think about them. Or with your with other people, you can talk about that. You can talk about the questions that I ask as well. And then you can unpause me and you can hear my answers and compare them and stuff. And so here is Rosie Revere Engineer. So this is the story of Rosie Revere who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. But when no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer's stash. And late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built in her hideaway under the leaves. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, Dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved, and when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed, where they'd never be seen. When Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair swooping over one eye and made fine inventions for her uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser and helium pants. The uncle she loved most was zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep the snakes off his head. From parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps the pythons away. And when it was finished, young Rosie was proud, but Fred slapped his knee and chuckled out loud. He laughed till he wheezed, his eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed and dismayed. She looked at the cheese hat and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, I truly do. But Rosie Revere knew that could not be true. She stuck the cheese hat back on her shelf and after that day kept her dreams to herself. And that's how it went until one autumn day. Her oldest relation showed up for a stay. Her great great Aunt Rose was a true dynamo who worked building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of things she had done and goals she had checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile and looked to the sky. The only thrill left on my list is to fly, but time never lingers as long as it seems. I'll chalk this one up to an old lady's dreams. That night, as Rosie laid side-eyed in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? She looked at the cheese hat and said, No, not I. But questions are tricky, and some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake all through the night. So when dawn approached and red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked, and she worked till the day was half gone, then hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see the ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. She strapped into the cockpit, flipped on the switch, the helio cheese copter puttered and twitched, it floated a moment and whirled round and round, then froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Then Rosie heard laughter and turned round to see the old woman laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed, her eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who thought, Oh no, never, not again, will I ever try to build something to putter or spin or build with a lever, a switch, or a gear and never will I be a great engineer. She turned round to leave, but then great, great Aunt Rose grabbed hold of Rosie and pulled her in close and hugged her and kissed her and started to cry. You did it, hooray, it's the perfect first try. This great flop is over, it's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled, perplexed and embarrassed. I failed, said dear Rosie, it's just made of trash. Didn't you see it? 
the cheese copter crashed. Yes, said her great aunt. It crashed, that is true. But before it did that, it needed, it just, it did what it just needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt as it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but this was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. They worked till the sun sneaked away to its bed. Aunt Rose tied her headscarf around Rosie's head, sent her to sleep with a smile, ear to ear, to dream bold dreams of a great engineer. At Blue River Creek, all the kids in grade two built gadgets and gizmos and doohickeys too. Uh, with each perfect failure, they all stand and cheer, but none quite as proudly as Rosie Revere. The end. Okay, awesome. So, that story is a great story. And I want you to think about what is the problem or conflict that happens uh, in the story. So, pause it, think about it. And I'm going to give my answer. And I think... It's when Rosie doesn't think that she can do it and she has and she feels that she like her her inventions aren't great after after her um, after Zookeeper Fred, her uncle started laughing at her at her gadgets and gizmos. She didn't want to build anymore. And so that was, I think, the big conflict. It was her confidence in how she didn't feel that she could do anything and do anything right. And so that's my answer. Now, second question, when was it resolved? So how, how did Rosie get her confidence back and feel that she could become a great engineer? So think about it or talk with, your, with whomever is around you right now and pause the video and um, if you don't wanna hear my answer. And so I think this is gonna be my answer. So I think that this gets resolved when great great aunt rose comes right and she tells rosie that failure is all part of it and you just have to keep working at it and working at it until you get it right and the big thing was the only true failure can come if you quit and so not quitting and always pushing yourself to do your very best and if and fail cuz failures are going to happen but if you keep pushing through that and keep trying to figure out what's going to work eventually you'll get your success so that's my, that was my thought. And so again, the story had beginning, you had, you got to introduce Rosie. It had the middle where Rosie made the thing, uh, made the, the, the cheese hat for her, um, for her uncle Zookeeper Fred, but Zookeeper Fred thought it was hilarious. Um, and she, she got sad and embarrassed. And so she lost her confidence. And then at the end, she got her confidence back knowing that Failure is always uh, failure is always going to be there, but you cannot quit, and that's the big thing. So yeah, that's the end. And so that is Rose Revere, engineer. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all next week.